Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial we are going to find the value of k and also find the roots of this given quadrat equation and the condition that is given to us is that one root is two more than the other one. So the very first thing we are gonna see the a, b, and c value. And here is our standard form for quadratic equation. Let's compare this equation with our given quadratic equation. And you can see that a is simply k. So far so good. And b is this whole thing which is k minus 8 and c is this whole quantity c equals to 1 minus k. So before we go any further let's talk about the roots of a quadratic equation. I said if alpha and beta are two roots of a given quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, then their sum is always equal to minus b over here and their product. That means you multiply them, then it's going to be equal to c over here. This fact is going to help us a lot. And now let us suppose that the first root of this quadratic equation is, I'm going to call it alpha. The second root I am going to call beta. And one thing, just make sure that over here it says that one root is two more than. That means beta equals to alpha plus two. That means two more than alpha. Now in the next step we are going to find the sum of the roots and we know the formula sum of the root is alpha plus beta is minus b over here. In our case alpha plus beta. We know beta equals to alpha plus 2. I want you to write down alpha plus 2 equals to in our case minus b over here look at b is negative and b value is k minus 8 divided by a a is simply k so far so good here alpha and alpha makes 2 alpha plus 2 equals to over here if you multiply them that's going to become negative k plus 8 over k. And now you can see that on the left hand side these terms are divisible by 2 so what I'm going to do is I am going to multiply this one by 1 over 2, this one by 1 over 2 and this term across the board I'm going to multiply by 1 over 2. So far so good. And then once you do that one, so this 2, 1 or 2, this cancels out. We got alpha plus same thing. This cancels out. We got plus 1 equal to at the bottom 2 times k becomes 2k. And on this side it is minus k plus 8 you can switch them around, you can commute their position, you can write them down as 8 minus k. Now I want you to move this 1, move it on the other side, so this is going to, alpha is going to become 8 minus k over 2k, this positive 1 becomes negative 1. And now I have put down this quantity over here and I'm going to simplify it over here. So 8 minus k over 2k minus 1 could be written as 1 over 1. So now I want you to crisscross to simplify this. To multiply, cross multiply 1 times 8 minus k becomes 8 minus k. And then we have a minus sign you put down this minus sign whatever sign and cross multiply 1 times 2k is 2k divided by your denominators are 2k and 1 you multiply them simply. 
this becomes 2k so we simply got 8 minus 3k over 2k so this is what we got so I can write this one as alpha turns out to be equal to 8 minus 3k divided by 2k and this is our alpha just keep in your mind we need it later on okay and in the next step the product of roots is given by alpha times beta equal to c over a we know alpha and then we know beta is 2 more than alpha so just beta replace it by alpha plus 2 and we know that the c value in our case is 1 minus k divided by a is k let's distribute these one over and multiply them alpha times alpha becomes alpha square plus 2 alpha equals to to 1 minus k over k so far so good but we know that alpha has a value of 8 minus 3k over 2k so wherever you see alpha alpha I'm gonna replace those value so alpha could be written as 8 minus 3k divided by 2k this is square plus 2 time alpha alpha is 8 minus 3k over 2k equals to we got 1 minus k over k let's simplify some more over here if you look at these one over here i can write this one on the top as 8 minus 3k square divided by 2k and square is going to become 4k square likewise over here plus this 2 and this 2 cancels out we got 8 minus 3k divided by k equals to 1 minus k over k now let's focus on the denominators over here denominator is 4k square k and k if you look at these three denominators our least common denominator is going to be simply 4 k square so what I'm going to do is I want to remove this fraction by just multiplying across the board I'm going to say 4k square over here I'm going to multiply across the board each and every term I'm going to multiply by 4k square that is the easiest way you can do so what really happens is this 4k square and 4k square cancels out we simply ended up with 8 minus 3k square plus here 1k cancel with this one we ended up with plus 4k times 8 minus 3k equals to once again this 1k cancel with this thing we ended up with 4k times 1 minus k so far so good let's move on furthermore and now here I want you to just simplify a little bit more okay I'm gonna just put down 8 minus 3k square plus here I want you to distribute them that is gonna become 32k minus 12k square equals to over here I want you to distribute them that's going to be 4k minus 4k square 
And to expand this binomial over here, this term, um, we're going to be using this well-known formula. So over here, I can just simply, I'm going to say this is your A and this is your B. And we are going to expand this thing. That's going to become 8 squared is going to be a 64 minus this become 48K plus 9 k square and then everything else you just write it down plus 32k minus 12k square equal to 4k minus 4k square and here is the next step this is what we are going to do i want you to move these 4k and negative 4k square on the left hand side as well so i'm going to leave everything as it is 64 minus 48k plus 9k square plus 32k minus 12k square when you move this 4k on this side become negative 4k and this negative 4k squared become positive 4k squared and we ended up zero at the right hand side let's simplify the like terms over here you can look at this one 9k square negative 12 k square and plus 4k square that is going to give us simply k square isn't it let's move on to now negative 48k plus 32k and negative 4k and if you simplify that's gonna give you negative 20k and finally plus 64 equal to 0 so far so good and now you can see that we have a, this quadratic equation in terms of k so we can easily factor this one out because we can solve for k so set it equal to zero the possible factor is going to be put down k over here and k over here what are the possible factors for 64 that's going to be a 4 times 16 i'm going to put down 4 over here and 16 over here and both signs are going to be negative so these are the factors for this one now since this these factors are equal to zero i can split them up i can separate them i can say k minus 4 equal to zero and k minus 16 equal to zero that means k equals to 4 value and the other one is k equal to 16 value so thus k equals to 4 or k equal to 16 are our k values and this is the our answer to part one we figured out k values now we are going to find the two roots right now here first i am going to pick this k equal to 4 value I'm gonna say at k equals to 4 value and we know that our alpha is simply 8 minus 3k over 2k so this is what I am going to do is simply I'm going to write down alpha wherever you see 8 minus 3 and k value is 4 I'm going to replace it by 4 divided by 2 times k is once again 4 so far so good let's simplify this thing that is going to give you alpha equals to 8 minus 12 over 8 so 8 minus 12 is going to be a simply negative 4 over 8 that means alpha turns out to be equals to negative 1 over 2 
that is our one of the roots we know that the beta is always we know by the condition it is alpha plus 2 so that means beta is going to be simply negative 1 over 2 plus 2 is simply going to give us over here beta equals to simply 3 over 2 that is our another root so thus at k equals to 4 our two roots turns out to be negative 1 over 2 and 3 over 2 and now we are going to uh, consider our second value of k that is k equals to 16 and find the two other roots so we know alpha equals to this much 8 minus 3k over 2k let's fill in the blanks so alpha equals to 8 minus 3 times I'm gonna put down 2 times k value is this time is 16 and 16 let's simplify this one so that's gonna be 8 minus 48 over 32 so alpha equals to negative 40 over 32 if you divide both sides by 8 so alpha turns out to be negative 5 over 4 so this is one of the value of our root and we know that the second root is beta and beta is same as alpha plus 2 is 2 more than the first root so let's find out the beta value so this is negative 5 over 4 plus 2 if you add these two one that's gonna give you 3 over 4 so beta's value turns out to be 3 over 4 so thus at k equal to 16 value our two roots turns out to be a negative 5 over 4 and 3 over 4 and here is our complete set of answer to our problem we figured out two k values that was 4 and 16 and we figured out at 16 and 4 these values and these are right up here and they, those are our complete answer and finally here is your assignment can you do this problem on your own can you solve can you find out the value of k you can take your time you can pause the video luckily i have already uploaded this video as well go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye